This is how sugar made. Workers harvest sugar cane from the fields and cut it into small pieces. The sugar cane is then sent to a conveyor belt at the factory where it undergoes two washings to remove some impurities and dirt. Next, the sugar cane goes into a shredder to be broken down into fibers for sugar extraction. At this point, the sugar content in the cane is about 10%. After that, the sugar cane fibers are fed into a press where the juice is extracted and collected. This pressing process is done at least five times to maximize sugar extraction. The leftover fibers can be used to produce alcohol, fuel, or for paper making. Following this, the sugar cane juice is filtered and sent into a 33-foot tall tank. Lime water along with sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide is added to react with the juice, removing its color and impurities. After settling, the juice changes from dark brown to amber, and the sediment that separates out can be used as fertilizer. Then the sugarcane juice enters an evaporator to be heated and concentrated, becoming a syrup with a sugar content of 60%. During this process, some remaining impurities float to the surface of the syrup, which are removed by the machinery. The syrup is then dehydrated and concentrated again, raising the sugar content to 90%. At this stage, the syrup turns dark brown, and this is what produces brown sugar. Through various crystallization and purification processes, different grades of white sugar can be produced. Finally, this sugar is sorted and packaged, making its way to the market for us to buy and ready to put in your coffee every morning.